profiteer that plunders and pillages Syria at will. War profiteering rears its ugly head in Turkey. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, his government and family set new standard for naked war profits airing. Government cover-up becoming more untenable by the day as Turk president promises to resign if ISIS oil trading and artifact theft are proven true. Stateofthenation.com The whole world is now watching a display of war profiteering never before seen in real time. Not in modern history has such a brazen battleground behavior been captured by the mainstream media, MSM. These bold acts of betrayal are virtually always kept under wraps, that is, until decades later when they no longer pose a threat to the guilty parties who are no longer in power. The president of Turkey denies the most indisputable evidence that various parties in Turkey have engaged in the most blatant forms of war profiteering in the Syrian theater of war. Despite obvious and irrefutable proof Erdogan continues to deny what the entire planet now knows about Turkey's contemptible war profiteering conduct. Not only does Russia own video and still footage of oil tanker runs being made from Syrian oil wells and refineries across the border into Turkey, Russian President Vladimir Putin has also received numerous intelligence briefings on how President Erdogan's own family is leading the war profiteering enterprise. Even in the case where Turkey's president might have been genuinely unaware of such blatant war profiteering, through the flagrant dealings with ISIS, the world's most notorious terrorist organization, he should be immediately impeached and aggressively prosecuted for his gross failure of oversight and neglect to secure Turkey's borders. Erdogan should also be brought before the International Criminal Court at The Hague and made an example of what will not be tolerated by the world community of nations. That his own family has been dealing directly with ISIS terrorists by purchasing stolen Syrian oil is so outrageous that the perps probably thought no one would ever believe that such an odious war crime could be true. In either case, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is now toast whether he knew or did not know of the war profiteering occurring on his watch. Never in modern history has a sitting president been caught so red-handed who then committed an unprovoked act of war against his accusers. Putin's Russia exposes war profiteers as never before in the history of modern warfare. The real beauty of this sordid war profiteering scandal is that Putin has quite deftly implicated the United States in the ongoing conspiracy. The U.S. military was given well over a year to disrupt the ISIS oil trade. The CIA was well aware of every active oil well and oil refinery that ISIS and company was running full bore in order to finance their ever-expanding terrorist activities all the while. American airstrikes quite deliberately avoided attacks on any and all ISIS-controlled oil infrastructure. Oil refineries, oil tankers, oil pipelines, oil transportation routes etc. were apparently strictly off-limits as far as the Obama administration was concerned. As a matter of fact, the USA's complicity in the ISIS oil trade scandal has been so well established that Obama was forced to publicly offer the following ridiculous explanation for their neglect to hit ISIS oil targets. A former CIA deputy director was enlisted to do the exceedingly dirty work of lying to the American people, as well as to the world at large, about the patently false excuse for enabling ISIL's oil revenue-making enterprises. Because the Russian military has been so successful at destroying these very same targets, ISIS oil revenue has already been cut in half. Putin has committed to sufficiently degrading those ongoing oil operations so that ISIS oil revenues will soon be zero dollars. As in zero. As in nothing. Russian airstrikes are now taking place in real time to accomplish that necessary mission. For anyone who doubts the degree of outright collusion between Turkey and ISIS, the expose posted below in its entirety definitively breaks down the whole criminal enterprise. Russia, as prosecutor, wastes no time presenting hard evidence of every claim they have made about Turkey's ongoing treachery and duplicity. Truly, unprecedented war profiteering with terrorists has been revealed in an unparalleled way. Not only has Turkey been convicted by its own actions, the USA has been indicted as a quite willing co-conspirator. The following video presentation is also a must-view for anyone who has any doubts that ISIS was created and is sustained by rogue elements within the U.S. federal government. 
the substantial amount of material support in the form of equipment, arms and munitions, provided by the CIA and U.S. military to the Daesh, is simply overwhelming. The evidence is so damning that were every American to watch this YouTube video, Obama would be impeached, the CIA dissolved, the U.S. armed services reorganized, and the Congress shut down. Yes, the proof of partnership, between ISIS and the USA, is that compelling. Russia presents detailed evidence of ISIS Turkey oil trade, ZeroHedge.com, on Monday, Turkey Sultan President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said something funny. In the wake of Vladimir Putin's contention that Russia has additional proof of Turkey's participation in Islamic State's illicit crude trade, Erdogan said he would resign if anyone could prove the accusations. Now obviously, conclusive evidence that Ankara is knowingly facilitating the sale of ISIS crude will probably be hard to come by, at least in the short term, but the silly thing about Erdogan's pronouncement is that we're talking about a man who was willing to plunge his country into civil war over a few lost seats in parliament. The idea that he would ever step down is patently absurd. But that's not what's important. What's critical is that the world gets the truth about who's financing and facilitating Raqqa's Rockefellers. If a NATO member is supporting this, and if the US has refrained from bombing ISIS oil trucks for 14 months as part of an understanding with Erdogan, well then we have a problem. For those who need a review, see the following four pieces. The most important question about ISIS that nobody is asking me the man who funds ISIS, Bail Erdogan. The son of Turkey's president how Turkey exports ISIS oil to the world, the scientific evidence ISIS oil trade full frontal, Rakas Rockefellers, Bail Erdogan, KRG Crude, and the Israel connection unfortunately for Ankara, the Kremlin is on a mission to blow this story wide open now that Turkey has apparently decided it's okay to shoot down Russian fighter jets. On Wednesday, we get the latest from Russia where the Defense Ministry has just finished a briefing on the Islamic State oil trade. Not to put too fine a point on it, but Turkey may be in trouble. First, here's the bullet point summary via Reuters, Russia's Defense Ministry says Russia's airstrikes in Syria helped to almost have illegal oil turned over Russia's Defense Ministry says Turkish president and family involved in business with Islamic State oil Russian Defense Ministry says will continue strikes in Syria on Islamic State oil infrastructure Russia's Defense Ministry says knows of three routes by which Islamic State oil is directed to Turkey Russian Defense Ministry says to present next week information showing Turkey helping Islamic State that's the cliffs notes version and the full statement from Deputy Minister of Defense Anatoly Antonov is below. Let us be the first to tell you, Antonov did not hold back. In the opening address, the deputy says the ISIS oil trade reaches the highest levels of Turkey's government. He also says Erdogan wouldn't resign if his face was smeared with stolen Syrian oil. Antonov then blasts Ankara for arresting journalists and mocks Erdogan's lovely family oil business. Antonov even calls on the journalists of the world to get involved in help Russia expose and destroy the sources of terrorist financing. Full statement from Anatoly Antonov, translated, at a briefing for the media, the armed forces of the Russian Federation in the fight against international terrorism. The new data, international terrorism, is the main threat of our time. This threat is not illusory but real, and many countries, primarily Russia, knows this firsthand. The notorious is Islamic State, the absolute leader of the terrorist international. This is a rearing monster of international terrorism can be countered. And you can win. Over the past two months, aerospace Russian forces is clearly demonstrated. We are firmly convinced that victory over Lee need to deliver a powerful and devastating blow to the sources of its funding, as repeatedly mentioned by President Vladimir Putin. Terrorism has no money, is a beast without teeth. Oil revenues are a major source of terrorist activity in Syria. They earn about $2 billion. Dollars annually, spending this money on hiring fighters around the world, providing them with weapons, equipment and weapons. That's why Soli protects thieves oil infrastructure in Syria and Iraq. The main consumer of stolen from legitimate owners, Syria and Iraq, the oil is Turkey. 
According to the data entered in this criminal business involved the highest political leadership of the country, President Erdogan and his family. We have repeatedly talked about the dangers of flirting with terrorists. It's like that Stokes. The fire from one country can spill over to others. This situation we are seeing in the Middle East. Today, we present only part of the facts, confirming that the region has a team of bandits and Turkish elites stealing oil from the neighbors. This oil in large numbers on an industrial scale, for the living pipelines from thousands of oil tankers entering the territory of Turkey. We are absolutely convinced today present you the hard facts about what the final destination of the stolen oil, Turkey, there is a large number of media representatives, and our briefing will see more of your colleagues. In this regard, I would like to say the following. We know and appreciate the work of journalists. We know that in the journalistic community, many courageous, fearless people honestly do its job. Today, we have clearly shown you how the illegal trade in oil, the result of which, the financing of terrorism, provided concrete evidence that, in our opinion, may be the subject of investigative journalism. We are confident that the truth with your help will, will find its way. We know the price to Erdogan. He has already been caught in a lie against Turkish journalists who open Turkey delivery of arms and ammunition to militants under the guise of humanitarian convoys. For this imprisoned journalists. Do not resign Turkish leaders, particularly Mr. Radogan, and did not recognize, even if their faces will be smeared by oil thieves. I might be too harsh, but at the hands of the Turkish military killed our comrades. The cynicism of the Turkish leadership is unlimited. Look what they're doing? Climb to a foreign country, it shamelessly robbed. And if the owners interfere, then they have to be addressed. I stress that Erdogan's resignation is not our goal. It is, it is the people of Turkey. Our goal and the goal to which we urge you, ladies and gentlemen, dash joint action to block the sources of funding for terrorism. We will continue to provide evidence of robbery by Turkey of its neighbors. Maybe I'll be too straightforward, but the control of these thieves and business can be entrusted only to the most close people. No one in the West, I wonder, does not cause the issue that the son of the president of Turkey is the leader of one of the largest energy companies, and son an appointed minister of energy? What a brilliant family business! This, in general, may elsewhere? Well, once again, of course, such cases can not be charging anyone, only the closest people. Votes this fact in the Western media we do not see much, but it sure cannot hide the truth. Yes, of course. Dirty petrodollars will work. I am sure that there are now discussions about the fact that everything you see here, dash falsification. Well. If it did not, let be allowed in those places that we showed journalists. It is obvious that today the publicity was devoted only part of the information about the monstrous crimes of the Turkish elites who directly finance international terrorism. We believe that any sane journalist should fight this plague of the 21 century. The world experience has repeatedly argued that the objective journalism is able to be an effective and formidable tool in the fight against various financial corruption schemes. We invite colleagues to investigative journalism on the disclosure of financial schemes and supplies oil from the terrorists to the consumers. Especially since the oil produced in the controlled militant territories and transit through Turkish ports shipped to other regions. For its part. The Ministry of Defense of Russia will continue to disclose new evidence on the supply of terrorist soil to foreign countries and to talk about the conduct of aerospace forces of Russia operations in Syria. Let's unite our efforts. We will destroy the sources of financing of terrorism in Syria, as you get involved in the kind of work abroad.